Hi there, it's Jane Birkinshaw from Love Your Lens here. I'd like to take a few moments to talk to you about um, an app that I really enjoy using for editing my photographs. It's my go-to app when I'm on my iPad or my phone and I'm out and about. It's called Snapseed and it's free from Google. It's made by Google, um, it works across all platforms, there are no in-app purchases, no adverts, etc. So um, there's a lot of features to it, it's simple to use and um, it really is quite a powerful and handy little app. So you can see the Snapseed um, app there with the green leaf. I'm just going to click on it and um, I've got an image um, that I've already opened here. Obviously you would just choose yours from your photo library as usual. And um, the, uh, what I'm going to do today is just show you just a few of the features, really just a, a very quickly how I would um, edit this image for instance. So I'm not going to take you through all the features that can uh, wait for another day when I'll break it down into sections. So if you look at the screen here and you click on looks at the bottom there, this will give you some predefined looks um, that you could apply to your image if you want to. I prefer to build up my own, so I'm going to click on tools and you can see that we get quite a comprehensive set of tools there at the bottom. And um, the first tool that I'm going to pick, I would normally uh, crop my image if it needs it. And um, you've got some predefined uh, sizes down there at the bottom, some ratios. And I'm going to go for a three for two. And I'm going to just bring it, uh, actually it's not a lot I really want to do with this image, but I could just show you that if I wanted to, um, I could start to really tighten up on, on that. Um, I'll do that, um, but I might have to think about changing that later. Okay, so there's our crop applied and then if we click on tools again, um, the next thing I would probably do is look to see if there's anything on my image that I really would like to remove. Um, little blemishes, not, not great big things, little blemishes that are easy to do and I would use the healing tool here which looks like a sticking plaster. So um, having selected that, what you need to do to use this tool is um, really enlarge um, the screen uh, by swiping out, pinching outwards with your fingers and um, the little circle that you saw appear then you really do want to make sure that that's just a little bit bigger um, than the um, blemish that you're going to do. Um, so you, you, the, the way to resize that circle is by um, scrolling in or out as you can see there and that's making a difference. So I'm going to see if there's any other blemishes that I'd want to remove. Um, there's a little one on um, the fish's body there and again go in quite close and then just use it like that. Uh, another little one here that's a bit distracting so we'll go for that. You have to be a little bit careful when it's near another object because it might start to pick that up and, and copy it and then scroll. Oh there's a few more so we'll just go for those as well and see and then scroll back out again and if you accidentally as you're swiping like this go like that then all you need to do is press um, undo and um, that will undo the last mistake or change that you made. And then we'll just press tick to apply that and we now have a much cleaner looking image. And then typically what I would want to do is brighten this image and give it a bit of a lift. And I'm going to go to tune image, the first tool there. And if I swipe up and down with my finger there, you can see that we get lots of different tools. I'm gonna to leave it on brightness. And then if I swipe right, the image gets brighter and if I swipe left the image gets darker okay and you can see how much it's doing it from the uh, the figures at the top as well so i'm doing this to about plus 10 at the moment and um, if i press on this little rectangle in the top right hand corner i can see um, the difference that i've made very subtle to be honest that is um, and um, i could also while i'm still in this tool i can go to shadows there and i can just lighten the shadow. So if you actually have a look at the bottom of the fish at the before and after that's made a massive difference. So don't overdo this tool because you will find it makes it look a little bit unnatural. So I'm going to just take that down a little bit. Okay, um, warmth is something else that you could do here. Um, you could change the, make the image slightly warmer, you could make it slightly cooler. Um, there is another way to do that as well to make sure that the colour is correct and I'll show you that way instead. So um, I'm going to take the warmth back to zero there and then I'm just going to tick to apply all those uh, little changes that I made within that tool. And if you want to correct the colour within your image, if you go on tools and then you go to what's called the white balance tool, this is the tool that will correct image from being too cool or too warm or having a slight colour cast on for you. You could try the auto balance and what that's done is warmed that up and I'm not really too keen on that to be honest, I don't think it's done a very good job. You can adjust it 
by pressing on adjust at the bottom there and then you get you can do the temperature yourself okay and you could go tint as well tints weird I mean, look that's just basically goes more purple or more green so I don't tend to do a lot with that one um, but certainly temperature could could be worth changing but another good way to use this is to get this color picker here where it says neutral color pick that up and you can move this tool around now and you can put it onto any areas that should be white black or grey and the picture will try the tool will try to balance the picture to look correct so if we go that's definitely not working on that area there black handle of the knife's not really working very well for us but in that white area there um, probably the easiest place to go to is a white area if you've got one um, then um, it has just very slightly changed the colour I'm pressing the before after before after there okay so I'm relatively happy with that and I'm going to press tick there again you can choose to ch sharpen the image slightly if you'd like to. So if you go to details, um, there's a sharpening tool within that. And again, you settle on that sharpening there by swiping um, and then swipe across. Now, if you sharpen too much, you will make your image look a bit peculiar and you're best really to go in and do your sharpening when you've enlarged a bit. Okay, so um, I don't normally overdo this. Um, some images don't need it. This doesn't particularly, but I've just done it a little bit to just um, slightly crisp it up. But certainly don't overdo this. And then tick that. And then one final thing I like to do, uh, or cop sorry, a couple of uh, tools um, that I'd like to use on most of my images. Tonal contrast is a really nice one. It applies straight away, and what it does is. Um, emphasizes all the textures um, and sort of the contrast within your image and sometimes I feel like it does it a little bit too much but you can do that you can sort that out so scroll up and down again uh, swipe swipe up and down sorry and um, if you get leave it on mid tones and then take that down slightly you can usually find that you can just lessen the effect a little bit more and make it a bit more subtle okay and so we'll tick that and then finally um, I would use um, one of my favorite tools called uh, grainy film which is there and this adds <coughs> very much like Instagram does a particular look to your picture but I like the way that you can control it so um, if we just go through to this one this has given it quite a nice feel if we do the before and after it's got quite a nice feel to it it has added grain as well so what we can do is swipe up and down again go to grain and take that grain out. If you like the grain, you could add more grain. But I would tend on most of my pictures to take the grain out. And the same, you can go to the style strength and just take that down so that you're only applying as much as you want for that image. So I think that looks pretty nice and clean now. And I'm going to tick that. And um, finally, um, I might add some text, particularly if I wanted to add my website details or something like that. Um, double tapping, I've selected the text tool, double tapping there and www.loveyourlens.co.uk and I can now put my branding on there. And if I go to the bottom I could pick a slightly different style, um, whichever you like and um, then pinching again um, you can move this uh, to where you might want to put it sort of out the way a little bit okay um, you can make that text more transparent if you like like that and um, then just press tick um, to apply that change okay so we're ready to save now um, but what if you perhaps regretted making the crop that you've done at the beginning well all is not lost you don't have to undo every single stage that you've done so far you can just click on this little symbol up here that looks like two little diamonds and an arrow going over the top and you can view edits and this will list all of the edits that you have um, made while you were doing this and um, so if you would say wanted to change that crop you could go there um, click on that and you get the options up again for adjusting that crop. So let's say actually I wish I hadn't cropped it and we've now um, I'm going to take the crop off. Okay so crop's gone and 
you need to make sure that you press back on the top and last change that you made to keep all of those so that's important and if you do it a few times wrong it'll soon make you remember um, because it's annoying and then you go back on your back arrow and the final thing we need to do then is export and um, you get a number of different options for sharing um, saving um, so read through all of those and pick the one that you like in this instance I'm going to do export creating a copy with permanent changes but I've still got my original picture okay I hope you found that useful and um, thanks for listening and I will be back with more Snapseed uh, tutorials for you thank you very much bye